Hello, well today I wanted to talk to you about these fairly cheap Chinese, well very cheap actually, Chinese skiving knives because actually I think they're pretty good and uh, excellent value for money. I've gone over to using um, all sort of knives now on Leatherwork so I'm sharpening all my own knives and it's great because there's no disposable blades, it's environmentally probably more sound and I'm sharpening them all actually on diamond stones and leather strops and that last word there leather strop is the key word because actually however you sharpen your knives if you use oil stones water wheels diamond stones water stones it doesn't really matter but it's the stropping which really gets the edge beautiful and that's really where these come in these cheap um, knives I actually got them for the courses they're about £2.50 UK so yes we are talking cheap but they're very very good I am amazed because this is one which I haven't sharpened yet so it's straight out the packet and you can cut leather straight out the packet with it it really is remarkably good really impressive but of course you can take it a bit further if you strop it you'll get an even keener edge and it will glide through. So all I've done for the stropping, I'm using a little wooden paddle I made, you can buy these if you want to, stuck with some Evo stick, a bit of leather to each side. You can use any type of leather. The natural russet veg tan is particularly good because it's firm. If you've got something that's already pretty sharp, you want a fairly firm strop. And then I'm just using a bit of chromium polish on there and it's literally brush it like 10 times one way, 10 times the other way. I'll show you. So here's the strop. Just quick diversion. To one side I've got a diamond stone. This is a fine, fine one. And I find these diamond stones, the DMT ones actually, very, very good. They're solid. So if you've got something like a planar blade, where you need to put a bit of work on. These do work very well. This is the extra fine. These though come so sharp, you don't need to worry even about a 1200 grit diamond stone. I think that is saying something. But anyway, here's my strop paddle. And all I do is just pick up the same bevel angle that it's got and just drag it down 10 times or so across the strop keeping a nice even firm pressure the whole time and you'll get a nice little mirror polish on that edge. I'll then do the back keeping the knife flat just a tiniest lift now and again just to polish the back of that cutting bevel. Again I'm just dragging it towards myself the whole time so I'm put, putting sorry I am pulling the knife Obviously, if you were to push the knife on a strop, you would cut the strop and ruin it. So just pull it towards you, like that. Turn it over one more time. You can probably see there, don't know if that come up on camera or not, but there is a lovely polished edge. So it's even more reflective than it was. It was good. It's now fantastic. Ten more or so on here. And you can just maintain this edge so after you've done some cutting and you feel perhaps it's losing it again just repeat this process there we are give it a wipe over so there you have it one knife and we'll just look at its sharpness so do this nice and close in so a bit of leather we'll test it for sharpness There we are. Look at that. This is thick leather. It's about four and a half to five millimeters. And then doing a skive. Look at that. So it really is good. And you get a lovely control. My only actual criticism really with these knives is the fact they have quite a wide sort of tang. And I am actually tempted to 
sort of refashion the handle because I prefer knives that have a, a more reduced handle because if you're skiving up to something that keeps hitting either the edge of the lever item or the edge of your bench. So that's my only criticism really, otherwise I think, I think it's pretty fantastic. Look at that. So there you are. Very, very cheap. A good little addition to your leather craft kit. If you get on with it, you can always buy something which um, is maybe a little bit more refined. But it's good. I mean, I'm using them all, all the knives now and getting very nice results with them. So there you are. Six lovely sharp skiving knives all ready for a course. Of course I've got to now make some leather covers for them because they're so sharp but there you are. <laughs> There's always something to be done. Anyway hope you enjoyed watching that one. Thanks very much. Bye bye.